Pilipinas at buong mundo. Naitay kapuso, pahiram po ng 20 minutes ng inyong hapon. Ako po si Boy, and welcome to Fast Talk with Boy Abunda. We're coming into your homes live. Kaya maraming salamat po sa lahat ng nanunood sa atin, sa ating live streaming channel sa YouTube at Facebook, at maraming salamat sa nakikinig sa atin sa DZWB. Welcome to the program. Especial po ang ating hapon. As promised, she is back. And she's back to tell her story. She had a top 10 finish, pero ang pagmamahal at suporta na ibinigay at patuloy na ibinibigay ng sambayanan ay higit pa sa nanalo. Naitay Kapuso, please welcome Michelle D. I know, I know. Please, maraming salamat, Michelle. Thank you so much, everyone. My God. My God. But you're so loved. Yes, yes, and I am so grateful for all of that. Thank you, mga kababayan, for just showering me with overwhelming support and love. I... I am at a loss for words for all of it. Grab it. It's so overwhelming. I did not expect it, but you know, hard work really pays off, and I'm just so glad all of you saw that. Totoo yon. Pag dating mo sa airport, na panood ko, sabi ko para talaga siyang parada. You know what I'm saying? Grab it. I mean, my goal from day one was to make sure that I give 200, 300 percent of my fight, whatever I can afford to give, and to really show all of you na yun yung binibigay ko. And I'm glad that you all saw that, saw the effort. I hope I made you all proud. It's not the ending we wanted, but everything happens for a reason. I know we, we did. We uh, nakapatuloy namin na papanood hanggang ngayon. Maingay pa rin na pinag-uusapan. Kaya narito tayo katulad ng naipangako natin dahil maraming mga katanungan ang hanggang ngayon ay hindi pa nasasagot. Mm -hmm. Let's start. Um, una, and I asked Shamsi this and she's here. Michelle, did you get into the top 20 because you deserve to be there or did you get into the top 20 because you topped the fan vote? Um, if I got into the top 20 because of the fan vote, that would have been announced. But what, I, what came to my attention was I got in through merit. That's why they didn't announce the fan okay. vote. Do you have an idea kung bakit hindi in-announce ng Claro? Because usually, di ba, pag yes, 15 yes. plus 1, 16, 20, 21, yes. do you have an idea? No, None. unfortunately, okay. they, they never briefed us about the fan vote or okay. any of Let's that. talk about the fan vote and let's talk about the voice for change. Okay. <laughs> Dahil ako halimbawa bumoto, it was Thank you. what? Thank uh, you. <laughs> uh, One dollar for three votes, 199. Uh, for 1,000 votes, mm -hmm. pero that was for the fan vote. Okay. Tapos meron pang voice for change. Yes. Naintindihan namin yung fan vote kasi kung sinong pinakamataas, papasok nun sa top 20. Yes. Okay, semifinals. Yung voice for change, ang kontrobersiya is that you girls were told because you're one of the top three winners. Gold, right. anong tawag doon, Michelle? It's three gold winners. Three gold that winners. That received... $12,000, I believe. Yes, okay. I believe. But ito ba'y, uh, naibigay na, may computation ba ito? Klaro ba ito sa inyo? Um, in terms of voting, I, I don't know the computation in terms of that. Um, it Up was until mentioned. Now. Up until now. Itong... Yeah, so I don't know the official breakdown, the official number, how much was raised. I only know up until they stopped showing how many votes the Philippines had. But computation of how much money was Do you know how much vote uh, did you get for I that know vote are, are for change? roughly around 260,000 votes. Close to 300,000 votes. Um, was the count until nawala. So, which means that you got $260,000? Is that what it means? No. Um, my advocacy gets $12,000, which no, is the that's gold That's right. Price, that yes. Your advocacy uh, would get Twelve thousand US dollars. Yes. Ito yes. ay alam niyo at sinabi ito. But outside of that, you don't know what's going to happen. I didn't know initially like what the voting mechanics were. I didn't know if there was going to be a price list. I only knew when the same time that everybody else. I am about. asking because this question has been raised by so many people, including our friend Pia Wordsmith. Right, right. Nabasa Pia Pose. Did you? you? You read about it, I, no? I am part of her broadcast channel. <laughs> I find it so entertaining. Hello, Queen Pia. Thank you so much for all Diba? of the advice. We had a FaceTime the night before oh. finals night because 
Oh, yeah. sweet. Pero isa yun sa kanya mga katanungan. But anyway, uh, hindi pa alam ni Michelle. Let's go to the next one. Nagkaroon ng post ang uh, Miss You El Salvador. Yes. Ng top five kung saan naroon ka. Yes. Okay? After a while, hindi ko lang alam kung gaano katagal. Uh, they took it down and yes. then replaced you with Miss Thailand. Yes. My question is, ikaw kasi ang involved at naroon ka sa El Salvador and then nakasama mo sila sa Mexico. What yes. was that? I know Salvador apologized. El Salvador correct, correct, universe. Correct. Okay. I mean, all I know is that kind of came during, like, right after I didn't make the top five. And admittedly, medyo naiyak pa sa banyo, trying to compose my thoughts, my feelings. And then I saw the post, and then obviously it kind of messes with your head. Na parang, what, what happened? But, of course, you know, I mentioned this in my broadcast channel. I say... We, I wish we lived in a perfect world, but we don't. I read, oh yes, and, I saw that. And uh, as much as there shouldn't be room for error, there was. And ultimately, we just had to leave it to destiny. They're not going to change the results. It's not a Steve Harvey moment. As much as I really wanted to be in the top five, I was prepared for the top five. It wasn't my destiny to be part of that. And they apologized. They said that it was just an honest mistake. And I choose to just want to accept that instead of live my life full of this what if and curiosity because if they say that's what happened then I really okay. have no choice but to accept it. Nag-apologize sila publicly but yes. nag-apologize ba sila sayo? No. No, okay. they didn't. Alright. Let's go to the top five. Um, there was a particular episode that we dedicated to the Miss You, uh, okay. the contest. Sinabi ko na ito, and I don't want to quote a lot of Filipinos, kasi sabihin nila, syempre, ang pakiramdam niyo, eh, si Michelle ang mananalo. Okay, so I quoted um, Ronan Farrow, yes. uh, Pulitzer Award-winning uh, journalist, yeah. and uh, I also quoted Lou Shera, long-time trainer for the Miss Universe. Idadagdag ko na rin po ngayon, si, how do you pronounce that? Iris, Iris Mitinere? Iris. Iris Mitinere, who said she was in my top five. So, Ronan, Lou, ang sabi nila, they use the word robbed. Yeah. She was robbed. The Philippines was robbed. I want to get your feelings. Uh, I, I want to get your thoughts, uh, Michelle. Do you think you were robbed of the top five post? I would rather choose to say I believe I was prepared for the top five. Um, I don't know what I could have changed. I gave 100% of myself. That gown, that iconic gown, which I believe is the basis to get into the top five, really deserved more recognition. And the swimwear. The swimsuit, because the into swimsuit the yeah, gets you into ten. the top right. ten. Uh -oh. The gown gets you into the top right. five. Um, I, again, as much as I want to say that I deserve to be there, it wasn't my destiny. I totally do understood I, that. Do I agree the the rob part? I mean, that's not for me to decide. I know. Honestly. Uh, and hindi naman pwedeng sabihin ni Michelle na siya yeah. nakawan. And I understand that. I'm just asking this because this is what everybody wants to ask. I know. I mean, Diba? if anything, you know, Tito Boy, Q&A is what I train for the hardest. I know. I know. Years on end, BD Q&A, Mama Elmo, Mama Roger, you know, they, right. I, um, I was really looking forward to holding a microphone. <laughs> I know. Pero sabi mo nga, after the top five, umiyak ka mag -isa. It After was painful. 10, it was very painful. You expected to be there because of hard work, because you, you, know, you performed well in the gown uh, competition. It was that painful. My loss in 2022 really reinforced the feeling that you should never celebrate until the crown is on your head. That's why I never manifested that I am who is going home with the crown. I just wanted to give 100% of myself, really show the whole universe what the Philippines had to offer. Because at the end of the day, with or without the crown, as long as andun yung laban, we shook the universe, I could sleep soundly at night. Because, I mean, I really believe that we gave a flawless performance. Talaga. Okay. You're now a global superstar, Michelle. I mean, I, I, I can't imagine anybody uh, not talking about Miss Universe. Um, lalo na ngayon na may kontrobersiya din ang Nicaragua. You know, the yes, director of yes, uh, Nicaragua ay hindi pinapasok sa bayan, but that's for another story. And she's a nice girl. I don't think a lot of people, I'll be very honest, not, not a lot of people are complaining that she won. Yes. The yes. beef here is that hindi ka nakapasok sa top five. Yeah. Yun ang sinasabi namin. Let's talk about Miss Thailand. I saw that vlog. Yes. And there was that interesting question you asked each other. Uh, if you would want to spend a year in space or underwater, and your answer was? 
Uh, my answer was underwater, I believe, in space. <laughs> I don't remember now. <laughs> you don't. Wait. Are you not close? Are you very good friends? Wait, wait, wait. What wait, was this? Wait, underwater or in space? Uh, I think you said... Was I, did I say space? Balikan natin yan mamaya. Balikan natin mamaya. <laughs> <laughs> so, parang one of you said that parang it's nice to look at the Earth yata from space. And then somebody said naman, there are a lot of things to discover underwater. I said, I think she said space. And then, um, yeah, okay, I remember we were live once. And then she said space and then I said underwater. And then I, I believe one of her phobias is she doesn't like not knowing what's underneath. Okay. Kaya space yung sinagot niya. Binibigyan ito ng mali siya. Are you, are you, how close are you to Ms. Talan? Actually, when we started talking, we actually kicked off a really good friendship. One of the best things in pageantry is meeting, you know, amazing Friends, girls. Yes. Amazing girls with like-minded passions. And it just so happens that when me and Thailand act, me and Antonia actually got to get to know each other. We have a lot of things in common. We have the same energy. Sense we of humor. We have the same sense of humor. We're both very sarcastic and we both have very dark humor. Sardonic. Uh -huh. Right. <laughs> no, no, man. No, no, man. No, 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 but there, there is a we, nice, we have right a kind lot of humor. Of you you even call we... each other mommy and daddy. Well, the fans dubbed us that. Ah, and the then, fans. Yeah, the fans okay. dubbed us that and then we kind of just picked off on it. Let's leave that. Let's talk about the special awards. Voice for Change Award, the Spirit of Carnival Award. Yes. I, we heard that statement uh, of how proud uh, Carnival, yes, your sponsor, yes. is, was about you. The fan vote, yes. the Best National Costume Award. Yes. <laughs> Itong isa sa mga dahilan, Michelle, kung bakit, hindi naman sa hindi maka-get over po. Uh, pero yun na rin ho yun, na nahihirapan kami maintindihan kung bakit you got four special awards at hindi ka nakapasok sa uh, top five. That I can't answer. I mean, you I, will not be able to answer I that. Really but this one I want to ask. Alam mo ba kung bakit ang national costume, ang napkos, ay inannounce much later? Usually, kasi yan ay... I, I know it's usually announced on coronation night. That's when they highlight all of the special awards. I actually expected the winners of The Voice for Change might have a... Uh, moment mm. on stage as well, okay. the special awards, all of that. I don't know if it was a time constraint. I love it. This was my concept brought to life by Michael Barassi. I, love I it so loved much. it. But of Thank course, you. again, it provoked uh, a conversation. I know. I mean, <laughs> uh, first and foremost, I'm just so happy for Michael Barassi, the third best national costume for the Philippines. Congratulations to you. But at the same time, I, I, I don't know why it was announced days after. Maybe because there was voting involved. Maybe they were still tabulating things, scoring. Okay. I actually don't know how the scoring was for national costume. I'm just happy to be the winner of it. Okay. Here are other questions. <laughs> Questions. You were quoted to have said, "Sayang hindi ako nakahawak ng mic," which, of course, uh, uh, in reference to "Sana nakaabot kami dun sa top five, yes, you course. know." And dito po sa fast talk, exclusive. Uh, subuk lang to Michelle. Subukan natin tayo si Michelle. The question that was asked uh, doon sa final oh round, sa top three. <laughs> How would Michelle be answer that? I want to talk about the killer walk. I want to talk about the Wang Odd inspired gown. At saka Yung may nangyari sa Mexico, I think it was a television show, mm. a lot of people were saying, bakit pinaalis si Michelle? And then there was that particular moment nung uh, parang nag-uusap kayo ni uh, Miss Anne at parang we were hearing words like, move on Philippines, mm. move on Thailand, I'll compose a song, move on. Ano ang ibig sabihin ng lahat ng ito? Malalaman ho natin sa pagbabalik na <laughs> Fast Talk with Boy. <laughs> Back here on the show, Michelle, let's do fast talk. Let's go. Okay, Filipinas, Filipinas. Both. <laughs> long gown, swimwear. Oh, well, long gown. Aeroplano, barco. Aeroplano. Thai, <laughs> Thai food, Mexican food. Thai food. Corona, pag-ibig. Pag-ibig. Fighter lover. <laughs> lover. Your next move. Madame. <laughs> Your next trip. Uh, madame! Next move is Black Rider. Your next trip, <laughs> <laughs> sinong kasama? My family. Yes or no, are you inspired right now? Very inspired. Yes or no, are you going straight back to acting? Yes. If you were to say thank you, kanino? Sa inyong lahat. Sa inyong if lahat. you were to say sorry, kanino? Sa inyong lahat. Lights on or lights off? Lights off. Here we go. Happiness or chocolates? Happiness, pronto. <laughs> <laughs> Best time for happiness. Right now. <laughs> Complete the sentence. I'm Michelle D. and I am... 
I am Michelle Marquez D, and I am Miss Universe 2022 ng Filipina. Oh. I should say that, Michelle Marquez D. Thank you. Hi, Mimi, if you're uh, watching. Okay, sayang, hindi ako nakahawak ng mic. Yes. Uh, let's, let's go to that uh, question for the top three. Michelle, okay. and if you could if you could answer this. In 45, can, bigla lang, can we have 45 <laughs> seconds? Are you ready? 45 seconds? Okay. And the question is... Before you ask the question, okay. whatever question that is, I just want to say that this is just for fun. Katuwaan lamang po. We're not, uh -oh. we're not trying to compare. <laughs> yes. Always spread love, kindness, respect. Okay. If you could live one year in another mm. woman's shoes, who would you choose and why? Tito Boy, if I could choose to live in any woman's shoes, it would be Apo Wang Od. She's an amazing symbol of cultural preservation. She's an amazing symbol of ageism. She has been defying boundaries, stereotypes, and that is something that I have tried to inspire everybody around me as well, which is to own your unique story, own your traditions, love where you came from, love who you're with, who you're surrounded with, and Truly, with that unique story, you can make your country proud. You can show the universe what your country has to offer. In my case, my love for my country can really shake the whole universe as well. Wow! There you go. Okay. And I think the killer walk, swimwear, paglabas mo, sabi namin, how was it? Were you so ready? You were, you slayed it, Oh, Michelle. thank you so much for that. Grabe, because... You know, right after prelims competition, I've been training for Pasarela for a while. Thank you, Ian Mendahar. But right after prelims, I text him, Kamusta, kamusta? It's always after na medyo kinakabahan ka. But okay. everybody was praising me, and I was like, wow. Wow, because wow. it's really just letting... Because I was actually the most calm prelims and finals. Mm -hmm. It's like you're really just enjoying the moment. You're taking it one step at a time. You rehearsed a million times with all of the other girls. It's really just... No, on pero a show. may ibang energy ka. Of course, hindi sinapian ko pwedeng magawa. Sinapian po ako ni Melanie Marquez. Para kang sinapian, sinapian ni Melanie. Sinapian po ako ni Melanie Marquez. Ina. There you go. Yes. Di ba? Ano yun? In the moment? Or you would just... What, what was that? It was me just letting go and having wow. fun. Yeah. Pagkatapos, gown. Gown. I think there was a collective global, what, gasp? Uh. Na... Oh my God! Beautiful gown. <laughs> you know, congratulations who made this. Mark Bumgarner. Mark, congratulations. You. Thank you so much. Okay. Sila po talaga yung nag-execute ng buong concept and idea. The inspiration was amazing, groundbreaking. I hope, because I said it so many times, that okay. this gown will be iconic. And I hope, and it is. And it is. And okay. it truly is. Honestly, I was so nervous when they were calling top ten because in my head I was like, okay. "How am I releasing this gown?" If okay. hindi ako natawag. And it's a gown worth celebrating in the Miss Universe stage. And, Kaya, and it is your story. It is our story. It is a country's story. It is. It you is. Know? Okay, let's go to nung kayo dumating na sa Mexico. You were, I think, on a television show. Umalis ka or, uh, you know, you were guided. What is the story? Um, Mabilisan lang, we have three minutes. Well, the story really is that I wasn't feeling well that okay. day. I was already sick, leaving El Salvador. So, hindi ito pang babastos? Hindi siya pang babastos because the organization already knew I was kind of okay. feeling ill. Right. I just powered through the first segment. And then that's why they notified Miss Kunan and Sir Raul and then escorted me out. The segment was already finished. What about the move out. on? The move on Thailand, me, uh, Miss Anne? I mean, Anne. quite frankly, I feel like Miss Universe is essentially alive because of the supporters, because of everybody okay. that's so passionate. Even though she might not have had bad intentions, the way it was executed, mm -hmm. delivered, it could have been better. Um, I frankly think there's always a better way to be more respectful to the fans. But of course, do I believe that it was done with malicious intent? I try to see the best in everybody. Yeah. And that's what you chose to do? And that's what I chose to do. Okay, all Just right. Just to be polite. And and say thank you. I understand. I understand, but I can feel you. I can feel, and I think the whole country felt. Yes, uh, yes. Felt for you. Yeah, I'm so surprised that you're here, my dear friend. Nandito po ang kapatid ni Michelle. Hi. Ang pinagkakaguluhan ngayon. Abraham, can you please join us? <laughs> my God, hi. 
Welcome to Fast Talk. Hey, <laughs> Abraham, my youngest brother, everyone. Oh my God. I tell you what, this is better than Family Feud. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, but, okay. if he was my teammate for Family Feud, I would lose. Because he can't speak Tagalog. I kicked him out of my team. <laughs> but thank you. I think everybody's asking now, maga artista ba si Abraham? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, if the opportunity presents him itself, I mean, we're we're a family of like, if there's an opportunity, let's grab it. How proud are you of your sister? Oh, I am just through the roof of how proud I am for my sister. <laughs> she is a professional in everything that she does. I know we should have a longer conversation, chat, but uh, thank you for coming out and uh, making a, a very special appearance, Abraham. The cutest bellboy in the universe. I know, <laughs> I know. Michelle, what's next? What's next? You know, I'm just going to continue all of the projects I've established for myself. I do have Black Rider coming up. I yeah! got yeah! authorization to say that. A, a lot of things. Yan. Of course, I might be flying to Thailand as well. Yeah. Very soon, abangan niya rin po yan. And a lot of projects, a lot of blessings for all of us. I can't wait to take you all along with the ride. This is not just for me, but it's for all of you. Mahal ko kayo. Thank you. I love you. We love you. Thank you. Thank you, you have thank our love you. and respect. You did the best, you made Thank us you. proud, Thank you. and you are our Miss Universe. Maraming maraming salamat, Michelle. Yeah. Abraham, maraming salamat. <laughs> maraming salamat po sa inyong pagpapatuloy sa amin sa inyong mga tahanan. God bless you, and we will see you again. And do one good thing a day, and let's make this world a better place. Goodbye for now. God bless. Yeah.